Hi, uh, this is just a quick vi uh, video on synchronizing carburetors. This is my 1981 Yamaha Maxim 650. Uh, it's a little customized. One thing I want to point out when you're synchronizing gauges, uh, if you've got aftermarket exhaust or high flow exhaust or even straight pipe exhaust like I've got on here, then you know if your air fuel mixture screws are going probably need a little adjusting and uh, even your jets is probably going to have to either go up or size or uh, even uh, adjust them to get the bike running like it should but as far as just synchronizing uh, you want to try to get your fuel, ex fuel air fuel mixture screws adjusted to where the bike runs fine or because uh, once you start sinking that's the last one of the last things you want to touch is the air fuel mixture screws um, okay, start off. Uh, you want to make sure that your your this is an old set. It's about 30 years old. A friend gave to me. You want to make sure that they're pretty much either zeroed like this one, or uh, you got them uh, you got them adjusted to the same range. That way, whenever you do go to uh, uh, synchronize your butterflies on your carburetors, that they're, they'll be reading them to either the same or you know that the gauges are right. You just have to get your uh, butterfly screw setting on the same. But uh, starting off, you know, I've, as I've already described in the video, the things you want to do. I actually still have my tank on here because I've already pre-synchronized these yesterday. But uh, I've got my I got my lines running into my air my synchronizer gauges. Kind of, and between these, uh, what'll come in this kit here if you buy it is these little restrictor valves. And what they do is, I'll show you. Whenever you, if you've got these things cranked wide open, these needles are going to go crazy. They're going to go up and down. It's going to be hard to get a good smooth reading. So you restrict the vacuum to where they just barely got a little ping in them. Still got vacuum, but they just got a little ping. Because if you get them over tight, you're not going to get the true vacuum reading off of your bike. So uh, let's just start off showing you from there. I've got it run, actually run into my vacuum ports on my bike. I've got one right here. My other one is. Let me zoom in. Yeah, it's right there on the other vacuum port. Some, like you've got these, uh, you got these needles right here. And like on the YICS Yamaha bikes in this year model, these right here, and a lot of your CB older Honda bikes, they actually screw into the actual metal part of the intake, and. Uh, yeah, there's that, and they have a little O-ring on them. And all it does is it just extends the port out to you to where you can hook these vacuum lines into. But, uh, yeah. As far as that, I'm not going to throw them out of adjustment because, like I said, they're hard. It's a hard, and it took me a while to do it. But I've already got these carbs synced in to the best that they were going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and crank it up and show you. How quick it cranked up, the bike should crank that fast. And the bike ain't fully warmed up right now, so as far as these gauges are going to be reading exactly like they should, if I open this valve up all the way, see how crazy the needle goes? I'm going to just close it just enough to where I get the needle just barely bobbing. You really heard me during that but as you could tell the needles were going right about in this outside on the outside of this gauge you'll see where it uh that's kind of where that's you can go either off either numbers but I usually go by this because it's easier numbers to you know say I've got eight here and I had eight on this gauge right here so but yeah that's what you want that's what you want your needles to do and as you can tell what I was doing was just adjusting this needle in and out till I got my needles to a steady position. Um, 
Really, other than that, you know, you got your air fuel mixture screws. As mine are right here, as in some of the pictures I've already showed you. Kind of hard to see there, but it's just on the other side of this choke. And then up under here is your air fuel mixture screw, which I've showed you in another one of the pics. And just keep it about a. I keep mine at 9,000 or 1,000 RPM, just for uh. That's what the book says to run these out, but yeah. But that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, add, uh, subscribe, like the video, whatever you can do. Thanks.